Hi, it's John Degatardi here from Supply Partners. We're at the Australian Solar Council Exhibition and Conference 2016 in Melbourne. I'm here with Mike Swanston from the Consumer Advocacy. Advocate. Advocate. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah, since I left... Since I left Energex and the distribution utility businesses after about 33 years, I decided if we're going to make some change and some good change for the industry, it's a bit easier to do it when you're outside the utilities. So that's where I work now and it's a wonderful place to be. So what, what is the exact brief of the consumer advocate? It's interesting. My background is utilities. I was in network planning, network operations, strategic management. But then you come to the realisation that it's all about customers. They're the people that pay the bill, they're the people that use the energy, and unless you can understand and relate to those customers, we used to call them consumers, yeah. then it's a tough slog for any business. So my interest is really trying to join policy, particularly regulatory policy and government policy, with the capability and the technical and the reality of a distribution business, and then what does it mean to a customer? What am I buying? What am I paying for? So You've started this business yourself to, yeah. to, to put put these these moving parts of the entire energy yep. industry together. That's the sort of thing I saw when I was working in utilities. Is I'm thinking, do we understand well enough what it, the reality is in a customer's mind? And by a customer, I don't mean a generic one. I'm sort of talking at the whites of the eyes of mum or dad or the the people that run the small business down the street. They get an electricity bill every three months, or they're being bombarded with. You need storage, you need solar, you need batteries, then you've got governments talking about prices and tariffs. There's a lot of stuff going in behind all that, but ultimately it's got to make sense to real people. And that's where my job comes in, it's something I thought that I could be helpful at, and that's what I do. Certainly in your days of the utility, you were always the um, most considerate of, uh, of supporters of, of industry at that time, and understanding that um, you know we were an emerging um, um, I, I, I guess uh, you know player or, or facet yes. within oh, the yes, energy yes, mix, yes, yes, yes. and and you were respectful of that, which which naturally as industry we're appreciative of. Um, now moving into this 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 freelancing, this, yeah, <laughs> freelancing. But I mean, I mean, you. It's an extremely important role, but I mean you you. How are you going to achieve it? I mean, surely you must love banging your head against a wall in some uh, ways. It's, it's not without its challenges, John. There's no doubt about that. And, of course, I, I still refer to myself as being on a gap year and not necessarily a consultant. Uh, I have particular yeah. views about yeah. consultants, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a, it's a fight worth fighting. Yeah. It's a pity it is a fight. Um, but everybody has different views on what's important to them. Utilities have a very important role in security and reliability supply and there's a lot of money tied up in that and also utilities are encouraged and almost rewarded for being somewhat conservative yeah. and you go okay but then you've got disruptive industries new technologies of which this is a perfect example storage batteries rising prices customers themselves are now disruptive so you've got all these different things that you've got to say well the answer lies in all of it playing well together. There's a new normal that sits there somewhere. How do we work together to find what that sweet spot is when we move forward into a new industry and a new world? And that's that's what, what I love. It's a, it's a great place to be. You've got governments that are saying, we have a policy that we'd like to do something like this. Then you've got a utility saying, but there's a whole bunch of technical reasons or commercial reasons why that we don't think that's a good idea. Then you've got customers saying, well, hang on, I saw this on TV. What does it mean? And that's the piece that I'm keen to see how can I help and bring some of that together for, for all of our benefit. It's a, it's a significant amount of moving parts. Um, um, you know, uh, you kindly call us, I suppose, a disruptive industry yes. um, uh, in, the, in this renewable sector, for which, um, you know, we, we uh, I suppose, an industry see us as um, part of part of a potential energy mix yes. and, and we're becoming that. Um, what you're doing, um, move, you know, trying to, trying to put, put all these, these moving parts together, yeah. how, do you see, how do you see it coming together? Like in a utopian, you know, in Mike Swanston, utopian outcome, um, 
two years' time, what's going to occur? Well, firstly, I try to decode these sort of complexities. Love the technology. Yeah. You go and look at you know, the various sorts of technologies on display here, and it's wonderful, wonderful stuff. But sooner or later you go, well, OK, someone's going to come and knock on the guy next door's door and say, I think you should buy one of these. What's the pitch? Why would the customer be excited and interested? And in what environment are they going to look at that product or article? There's no doubt change is necessary. You know, the way we're looking at load factors and asset utilisation in dis distribution land, we're looking at the drive for retailers to be looking for new products and services. The potential energy, the coiled up spring for change is there. And in that potential for change, you walk around here and look at where technology has gone. And one of the great things about this display and this, this, this conference um, the last couple of days, as I mentioned to a few of my colleagues, it's not just, do you want to buy some hardware? Do you want to buy a panel? Do you want to buy an inverter? It's now moving to you to want to buy a solution, a solution to rising prices, a solution to, to being more green and carbon focused, um, to being more energy aware. Do you want to buy a solution? And that's great stuff. So what I try to do is lift that stuff up into a very simple, what does that mean when someone comes and knocks on the door and says, I think this is the product for you? The piece that's currently taking a lot of my work and a lot of my time at the moment is understanding utility tariffs. Because if I'm going to buy a car, my decision is, has got a lot to do with the price of the alternative. Yeah. So when I look at what's going through customers at the moment with rising prices and things, where does this stuff, batteries, storage, new energy solutions, demand management Opportunity sit? Opportunity cost, returns with on investment. Yeah. Where utilities are going. And again, there's a potential energy in there. Utilities, no change is afoot. Regulators, no change is afoot. The fascinating thing I'm looking for at the moment is what's going to be the trigger that suddenly makes all the cats want to jump in the wheelbarrow. They're all milling around at the moment. Yep. Technology capability, the new designs that we're seeing in solutions, tariffs have to move. Customers are saying, I've been really distrustful and disempowered by pricing changes. What will be the switch that will suddenly bring all these pieces together and move as quickly to the new normal. That's the bit that I wander around here. And you look at the technology, you talk to the people, but that's the thing that's going through my head at the moment is what's going to make it suddenly all come together? I think it's um, um, a very, very interesting scope, <laughs> scope of work that you've taken on. Um, it is absolutely uh, critical. I appreciate uh, you saying that. Um, and I hope that you are the trigger yeah. and, uh, and I think that in some ways there's a nobility in just trying. Well, and, and you've got to try but it's not just all about you know me or customers, it's, it's how do we guide governments, how do we um, give messages to utilities about how to meaningfully talk to customers, not just in broad consultation terms but honestly if I was going to go and sell you a product tomorrow what does it mean to you? But if we just chip away, I think we'll have success. I think the, um, the key amongst a, a range of things is that let's look at the customer and then build from there. Uh, they're, not, they're, the bill. they're not consumers. They're customers. <laughs> That's all right. That's where the money comes from. Thank you very much, Mike Thanks, Swanston. John. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks Cheers. for your time.